Introduction Hello students, can you imagine how cold the earth would be if there were no sun? The sun is the earth's main source of heat. Only a little of the sun's heat reaches the earth. However, this is enough for life to exist on earth. Other sources of heat are fire and electric heater. In this lesson, we will study about heat and its measurements. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify hot, cold and warm bodies, define heat as transfer of energy, differentiate between heat and temperature, explain clinical and laboratory thermometer, the sun, burning fuels, electricity and mechanical work are sources of heat. Let us perform an experiment. We keep tin or aluminium sheet out under sun and touch after some time. We then place the same tin or aluminium sheet inside the house. Touch the sheet after some time. In the first case, we feel hot and in the second case, we feel cold. Let us prove through another experiment that sun gives heat. Use a magnifying glass to focus sunlight on a piece of white paper. At the position where the sunlight is focused, the paper becomes hot, starts to turn brown and soon bursts into flame. Thus the heat from the sun makes the paper burn. Man can generate heat by burning wood, coal and gas. Wood, coal and gas are called fuels. Fuels burn in machine to make them work. A motor car runs by burning fuel. An aeroplane flies by burning fuel. Electricity also gives heat. Man uses electricity to cook the food and to work the machines. Heat can also be produced by rubbing two things together. This is by doing mechanical work. Rub the palms of your hands together. What do you feel? You will feel that it is hot. The ancient man generated fire by rubbing two stones. You must have held both ice and hot cup of coffee. Why is it that in one you feel cold, while in the other it is hot? When heat energy from our body flows out rapidly, we feel very cold. This is the case when we hold ice. Ice on the palm gives a sensation of cold because heat from your body flows out of your body to the ice. With this heat, the ice on your palm melts. When the heat energy flow from outside into our body is rapid and more, we feel very hot. This is the case when we hold cup of coffee. The heat from tea or coffee flows to tea to the hand. Thus, it is the flow of heat energy which determines the cold or hot. Students, let us perform an activity to understand the concept of direction of heat flow. We place a glass of hot milk in a dish with cold water. After some time, milk gets cool and water gets warm. Both milk and water come to lie at the same temperature. Direction of the flow of heat is from hot to cold. Now we will learn the concept of temperature. Temperature is the measurement of hotness or coldness of an object. We say that water from fridge is cold and milk is hot. How much cold is water? Is it cooler than ice? How much hot is milk? Is it hotter than boiling water? Obviously, for this we need a measure to know about coldness and hotness of a body. A hot body is at a higher temperature than a cool body. When a substance is heated, its temperature rises. On cooling, the temperature comes down. Degree of hotness or coldness in a body is described as its temperature.
The table shows the difference between heat and temperature. Heat is a form of energy. Temperature is a measure of heat energy level. Heat energy raises the temperature of a body, while the temperature decides the direction of flow of heat. Heat flows from a body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature. Heat is measured in joules. Temperature is measured in degrees Celsius or Kelvin. Now that we have learnt about temperature, let us look at the device used to measure temperature. It is called a thermometer. The most common use of thermometer is to measure our body temperature. Such a thermometer is called a clinical thermometer. A clinical thermometer consists of a long, narrow, uniform glass tube. It has a bulb at one end filled with mercury. Outside the bulb, a small shining thread of mercury can be seen. A clinical thermometer reads temperature from 95 degree Fahrenheit to 107.6 degree Fahrenheit. The normal temperature of human body is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. The clinical thermometer is also known as a doctor's thermometer. Precautions to be observed while reading a clinical thermometer are as follows. Thermometer should be washed before and after use, preferably with an antiseptic solution. Ensure the mercury level is below 95 degree Fahrenheit. Read the thermometer keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight. Handle the thermometer with care. If it hits against some hard object, it can break. Do not hold the thermometer by the bulb while reading it. Let us now discuss laboratory thermometer. A laboratory thermometer is used for measuring the temperature in a science laboratory. It is similar to clinical thermometer but is long and narrow. A laboratory thermometer reads temperature from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Let us now measure the temperature of hot water kept in a beaker. Take a laboratory thermometer. Immerse the bulb of thermometer in hot water. See the shining thread of mercury moving up in the thermometer tube. After some time, the mercury thread will stop rising and stand at one place. Read the temperature on thermometer tube which corresponds to the top of mercury thread. This is temperature of hot water. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. You feel cold, warm and hot. Heat flows from hot to cold. Temperature is the measure of heat. A hot body is at a higher temperature than a cool body. Thermometer is used to measure the degree of heat in a body. Clinical thermometer is used to measure a body temperature. The range of this thermometer is 95 degree Fahrenheit to 107.6 degree Fahrenheit. For other purposes, we use laboratory thermometers. The range of laboratory thermometer is minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. The normal temperature of human body is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit.